Hi everybody, this is Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sonologue. I am so happy to be back in my sauna. I took such a long break and it's like the most beautiful detoxing meditation space that you can ever imagine. Plus you sweat like bullets and that means you burn calories and lose weight and clear your skin and all such amazing things. So this is also where I come to talk about really important spiritual topics that we all need to hear to stay on our path and stay focused and in a higher vibration, all right? So 2019 and even 2018, but especially 2019, has been super difficult for so many people, myself included. Um, and for me specifically, and that's partly why I do this vlog, because I need to remember so that I can keep my act together <laughs> as I move forward into 2020 because no one wants to bring any of this dark crap into 2020, I tell you that. I'm certainly making that commitment. So, um, I talked in my last vlog about how I wanted to do a series on narcissism and narcissistic people because we are in a spiritual war. The human humankind is really being bombarded with a lot of dark energy and the planet with a lot of dark energy. And so I feel like people are being literally attacked by dark entities that take their soul and turn them into narcissists and or sociopaths. And this happens frequently when people are really depressed, which is frequent now in our society, or they are partaking in excessive amounts of drugs or alcohol because it lowers your vibration being depressed and or taking drugs and alcohol that lowers your vibration allows darker entities to attach to your energy field and this is something serious and malevolent and really scary and take it from me because I was in a two-year relationship with the darkest narcissist that you can imagine every single sign was textbook narcissism and narcissistic behavior and because I didn't really know about it I fell so prey and so a victim to it and I'm not trying to claim a victim role but what I am trying to do is educate myself and others so that what happened to me doesn't happen to you okay because it is so prevalent and frequent in our society these days that it is something to be aware of and something to protect yourself from Okay, so today I wanted to talk about what happens usually when you first meet a narcissist. Because if you look online, you'll see, you know, what are the signs of narcissism? And it's usually about the person seeming or feeling or acting superior or, you know, expecting all sorts of, you know, accolades and, and also, um, exaggerating their accomplishments or whatever, making their self, themselves seem bigger and better than anybody else. But really, that's not how a narcissist starts out a relationship. Because see, what narcissists do is they seek out people with open hearts, people that have a lot of love to give, and those are specifically like empaths, like myself, and or people that really are just looking to love and connect on a soul level, okay? So because that heart chakra energy is so high vibration and so pure, that's what narcissists feed on, right? So when you meet a narcissist for this first time, he's not gonna act grandiose and cocky and all that because that you're gonna be like, what an asshole, right? So, but they're so cunning and so manipulative that what they do is they love bomb you. Okay, and this is something I didn't realize and probably most people don't realize when they're thinking about a narcissist because it's the exact opposite what you think of when you think of a narcissist, which is somebody that thinks they're better than anybody else in the world, right? Okay, so love bombing takes on these qualities and this is something to really, 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 this is like a huge freaking red flag that's the size of a billboard that you have to pay attention to because I didn't pay attention to, I just fell in. I thought, this is it. This is the one. This is what I've been looking for because that's what they want. They want you to make you feel, they want to make you feel like you found your soulmate, that you found your twin flame, that this is fate and all of this stuff. So what they do is they love bomb you. And that consists of several things. First of all, 
when you first meet a narcissist, they'll start off by telling you, and this is, this is tricky because there's all this online dating and stuff and you don't know where this person came from, what this person's history is or whatever. So you're kind of going in blind and you think they're looking for the same thing you are, love, you know, and a real soul connection, but they're not. They want to find their next victim. Okay. So what they do, this love bombing, it starts out with a lot of flattery, right? They tell you how beautiful you are. They tell you, how, you know, all of the great things about you, right? The opposite of what you think a narcissist would do. They flatter you to the point that you feel like they're falling in love with you, you know, right? Okay. So that's first, you know, be very aware of that. And then what happens is they want more of your time. There's a lot of communication, like incessant almost, texting, emailing, calling, all of these nonstop communications that reinforce this feeling of the, that they love you or that they care or that they think you're great. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's incessant communication. And which is like the opposite of what a lot of times happens when you meet somebody because it's kind of touch and go and you're not sure. But a narcissist will, narcissist will take all of your time in communicating with you and trying to keep you focused on them, right? But it's trickery, trickery because it's the manip manipulation of them seemingly focusing their attention on you. But what it does is it prevents you from focusing your, focusing your attention elsewhere, see? They also give you gifts and bring you flowers and show you, um, give you affectionate, makes you, make you feel like you're the object of their affections, right? They give you their attention and they're, they're very doting. And you know, you think, my God, this is the most amazing person ever. He's, he's just paying so much attention to me and he's just so amazing right? It's such a manipulation, right? So let me see. Um, what that does, all of these things, this love bombing stuff, it creates a dependency, right? Because after a time, everybody else would have fallen away because you're giving all your time to this person who's giving you all this doting and um, affection and compliments and showing you that, oh, they care about you so much and it must be fate that the universe brought you together and it was meant to be, right? Big red flags, huge, huge red flags, okay? Because not that this can't happen in a real soul connection or a real love connection, but that's rare, sadly to really meet your soulmate or your, or your twin flame. That's rare. And so what a narcissist does is he manipulates things or he or she manipulates things so that you think they're the one, the person that you've always been looking for and waiting for your whole life. And it makes me sad because I fell into that trap, man, hook, line and sinker. And what happens is especially people that have an open heart chakra. Sorry, I'm still getting over a cold. And that's why my voice is scratchy, but people with an open heart chakra are looking to find true love. That's why we're prey for narcissists because if they can convince us that this is true love, then they've got you, right? They've got you on the hook. Okay. So the advice that I'm going to give everybody, that comes across somebody like this is take it slow. Don't believe everything they say. Time will tell. Okay. Time will tell because the narcissist is an impatient creature and a narcissist wants instant gratification because they believe they deserve it. Okay. And so if you take your time, keep a little distance, keep your sense and your grounding about you and just don't throw caution to the wind and think, Oh God, this is the love of my life. Let it develop over time because a true narcissist won't wait around. A true narcissist will run to the next victim up the next. And they probably got multiple people going on the line doing the same shenanigans with, 
Okay. So if you don't fall in quick, they'll be on to the next one and it'll show, they will show you their true colors very quickly. So take a deep breath, keep a little distance. By all means, don't sleep with them straight away. Big problem. And breathe. And their true colors will show themselves, okay? Okay, so that's the first. This is my first segment. I don't know how many they're going to be. I'm going to get through it, though, so that you'll be educated about this creature. And please, <laughs> please keep this in mind when you're out there in the world dating or whatever. I know we're all looking for love, but, man, it's a dangerous world out there with these these dark beings and you want to protect yourself, especially if you're an empath. Okay. So thank you so much for checking this out. Please check out the subsequent vlogs. This is a really serious topic. Everybody needs to know this. Everybody needs to protect themselves. And thank you so much. Please subscribe. It means a huge amount to me. If, if I know that I'm helping people, it just makes me want to do this more. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Ooh, <laughs>